Did you know that up to 93% of communication is nonverbal? Well, it's true, according to Dr. Albert Moravian. There are subtle unconscious things with your body language that can make you come off as anxious and unapproachable. Since these statistics came up in the 1970s, body language has always been a hot topic for debate. While body language may help you understand others, it should not be a foolproof method of interpretation. Here are six subtle hints of body language that actually kill attraction and the best ways to overcome and correct them. What are you looking at? Maintaining eye contact is essential. You've probably heard that before, but that doesn't make it easy. Many people deal with eye contact anxiety, making it hard to look at someone directly. Someone with eye contact anxiety may feel like they're being scrutinized when making direct eye contact with someone, causing them to avoid it. Similar to social anxiety, this can include family and friends. Since eye contact is so important to have a fruitful conversation, avoiding it may make whomever you're talking to worry that you aren't engaged. Even if lacking eye contact isn't intentional, the person you're talking to may feel unheard or that you wanna end the conversation. To improve your skills, consider practicing making eye contact with characters on TV or someone close to you. If you can't look at someone directly at first, try to focus on something along their face such as their nose, mouth, or freckles. With enough practice, you may feel more at ease and want to take this show of confidence on the road. Technic. According to eMarketer, the daily average screen time was estimated to be eight hours in 2022. World-renowned cervical spine surgeon, K. Danielle Rue, says, when you're working on a computer or looking down at your phone, the muscles in the back of the neck have to contract to hold your head up. The more you look down, the more the muscles have to work to keep your head up. These muscles can get overly tired and sore, and that's what we call tech neck. Poor posture, for example, can stretch the supporting muscles and ligaments, consequentially increase spinal curvature and lead to tech neck. In a world where we're constantly looking down at our phones, developing a hunch or tech neck is easy. Let's be honest, how many of you watching are hunched over your phone now? If you're consistently hunched over your phone or slouching, your body language may suggest you lack confidence or are disinterested in the people around you. To prevent poor posture or correct tech neck, avoid slouching, sit upright, and conduct regular exercises to help strengthen your back muscles. Swimming, yoga, running, walking, and sitting with the proper back support can be beneficial in preventing future back problems. Human fidget spinner. You can find fidget spinners almost anywhere, and practically every kid has one stashed in their pocket or bag. Despite their massive popularity amongst kids as simple toys, Fidget spinners were initially designed as a soothing tool for those with anxiety to preoccupy their hands and avoid excessive fidgeting. According to the Center for Hyperhidrosis, fidgeting refers to small movements made by the body in times of nervousness. It's one of the most common nervous cues of body language. In a stressful situation, you might feel compelled to toy with your pencil during a brutal test or play with your hands during an important interview. This excessive fidgeting may lead the people around you to feel equally nervous. To avoid this, try to practice mindfulness. Take a deep breath, be conscious of your surroundings, and be aware of what your hands are doing. Show me your hands. You might wanna pocket your hands when you're nervous or having a difficult conversation, like asking for a raise or asking out your crush. FBI veteran and author of Louder Than Words, Joe Navarro, has argued that when we're comfortable and content, blood flows into our hands, making them warm and flexible, whereas stress makes our hands feel cold and rigid. This sudden chill in your hands may be a result of stress. Unfortunately, stuffing your hands inside your pockets can make you appear cold, closed off, or bored. You may make the person you're talking to uneasy or nervous by hiding your hands. Since the human brain is hardwired to engage to accurately communicate with one's emotions, thoughts, and sentiments through hand gestures. As a result, hands are often used as a tool to tell a story or express confidence and excitement. If you still pocket your hands, try to be aware of why you're doing it in the first place. If it's because you're cold, say so. But if it's because you're nervous, you might unconsciously make those around you equally nervous. Rub your hands together, think warm thoughts, and don't be afraid to use your hands to tell a good story. Frozen. Almost everyone knows the fight or flight response to a perceived threat. However, did you know of the fight, flight, freeze response? According to the Center for Hyperhidrosis, it's common for the body to freeze during stressful moments. You may be having a difficult conversation with someone and feel stiff or freezing up, appearing uncomfortable. Sometimes you may have so much energy swirling around that your body doesn't know what to do with it. Overwhelmed, the body freezes. 
Freezing up can be one of the more complex signs of nervousness to overcome, so it's essential to recognize it if it becomes a common occurrence. You may be triggered by something someone said and don't know how else to respond, so you freeze. You may be having a hard conversation you've been dreading and freeze up, but freezing up can also make whomever you're talking to equally uncomfortable or anxious. One of the ways to fix freezing is taking deep breaths and reminding yourself that you are not in actual danger. Instead, assess the situation and ask yourself, am I really in danger or am I just nervous because this is new? Awareness of why your body responds the way it does is the first step in overcoming these bodily reflexes. Who knew body language could get so complicated? There are so many subtle things that we do that we don't realize unless we take a step back. Fortunately, taking some small steps to self-reflect and practice some of these skills can potentially bring great rewards. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking it and sharing it with a friend that could benefit from some body language tips and hacks. If you used any tips and hacks mentioned, tell us in the comments if they helped you develop better body language. Until next time, remember to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date on our latest videos. Take care and remember that you matter.